Welcome to the Ashtower Project Site Manager training video for the Georgia Department of Transportation, presented by Infotech Inc. This training video is entitled Viewing Sample Information in Limbs. In this video, you'll receive instructions about the following topics, creating and saving filters and viewing sample information. To demonstrate Site Manager materials and limbs for you today, I will use the Georgia Department of Transportation's customized Site Manager training environment containing GDOT data and customizations that GDOT has developed for non-agency materials users. At GDOT, you will access Site Manager and LIMS through Citrix. Log on to Citrix following the instructions provided to you by GDOT. You will then log on to Site Manager via GDOT's virtual applications. Site Manager enables you to review information about a sample record from within the LIMS component. Let's double click the View Only Sample Information icon. And this brings us into the Open Sample Records dialog box, where we can specify criteria for the sample or samples that we want to view. You can specify generic criteria each time you want to look for a sample record, or you can specify and save filters if you use the same search criteria on a regular basis. So first, let's uh, define a generic filter. I'm going to click the Add Criteria button. In the field drop-down list, I'm going to select Logged By. The operator, I'll choose Contains. And in my value, I'm going to type Train in uppercase letters. And I'll click the Open Records button at the bottom. And Site Manager Limbs displays only the samples that were logged by users containing Train in their user ID that are associated with my organization. Now you can also create and save filters for frequently used search criteria. So let's do that now. I'm going to click the Open button on the toolbar. And I'm going to click the New Filter button, which will bring up a box for us to define a name for our new filter that we're going to save. I'll type Material Name and click the OK button. And so now we can add our criteria for our new filter. Click the Add Criteria button, and in my Field drop-down list, I'm going to scroll down and choose Material Name. The operator will be Contains, and the value I'm going to type Sand. Now notice I did not type Sand in all caps this time, because in our code tables, the Material Name field is in mixed case. So this is going to look for all the records that have a material name with Sand spelled this way. I'll click the Open Records button, and Site Manager displays our list. So let's talk about how to view information. The upper pane of this window lists all of the sample records that meet our filter criteria that are associated with my organization. Whatever is highlighted in the top part of the window, the details for that particular sample record will be shown in the bottom part of the window. So I want to search for a particular sample record. I'm going to sort the list by sample ID, and then scroll down to find the sample ID that begins with train and ends with test-b. I'll highlight that row, and so now in the bottom pane, it's going to show the sample information for the selected sample. So I'm starting on the Sample Details tab, which contains information from the Maintain Sample Information window, Basic Sample Data tab such as the material, my sample type, acceptance method, producer supplier, and if I scroll down, I can also see my represented quantity here. I'll click on the Contract Details tab, and this will show the contract and or contracts and items that are associated with my sample record. When I click the Other Details tab, this shows the destination lab or your organization, which is associated to the sample. The Sample Receive tab will show the date and time that this sample was received in the Destination Lab and or Lab Unit. The Tests Assigned tab will show all of the tests that were assigned to the sample. We only have one here. And the Test Status tab will show the status of each of the tests that are assigned to the sample. This does not show test results, only the status of the tests. So I've finished looking at the test and sample information that I want to for now, and I want to go back and clear my filter criteria. 
So I'm going to click the open button on the toolbar, which brings up my open sample records window. And first I want to delete a criteria. So I'll click the delete criteria button and it will delete the last criteria row uh, on this particular filter. Now I only had one row, so it deleted that row. If I had more than one, it would start with the bottom row. I also want to delete the filter that I created, the material name filter. So I make sure that that is what is showing in my drop-down list, and I click the Delete Filter button. And then I want to go back and click the Open Records button, which will remove that filter that we had saved and brings me back to the generic filter list of information. All right, so we have reviewed the sample records that I wanted to look at. So now I have finished this exercise and I'm ready to close my window and exit Site Manager. I'll click the Close button on the toolbar and the File menu, Exit Application, and the Yes button.